Hey there, and welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Casey, one of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today we're using Guinness beer to jazz up our famous spoon roast. We're making a slow cooker Guinness braised spoon roast. I really love this one. Uh, to get started with this, I have some oil heating in my pan over here. I'm going to brown our spoon roast um, in a pan before we uh, get it in our slow cooker. So before that, I'm going to go ahead and season our spoon roast with some salt, some black pepper, and some fresh thyme leaves. And the reason I'm seasoning this, you might be wondering if you're more familiar with our burgundy pepper spoon roast. Um, that, of course, is one of our really tasty options. But we also have a plain spoon roast that you can kind of season on your own, which I really like. Um, so that's what we're doing today. It works really well with this recipe. So I'm just going to flip this over and then season the other side as well with our salt, pepper, and fresh thyme leaves. And I'm just kind of, as you saw, kind of patting those seasonings in to make sure they stay on the spoon roast while we brown it. All right. So now I'm going to get this over in our pan. Um, we're using a cast iron pan, which works really well for browning. But if you don't have one, a regular pan will work just fine. So we're going to let that brown. I'm going to go wash my hands, and we'll check on our spoon roast. Our roast has a nice brown crust on all the sides of it, so it's ready to go into our slow cooker insert. So I'll get this over there, and then I'll move this back over to our slow cooker. So now we just have to add the rest of our ingredients to the slow cooker. Um, so to this, we're going to add some veggies. We're going to add some chopped carrot, some onion, celery, and garlic. Feel free to sub in any other veggies that you might like with your roast. Um, I think potatoes would be really good, or even green beans, or um, even like frozen peas. If you are going to add frozen peas, I'd recommend not adding those until maybe the last hour of cooking. Um, but really, any of those would be great additions to this spoon roast. And then we're going to add some low sodium beef broth. That low sodium just kind of helps to control that salt a little bit, since we do have some. Um, seasoned on our roast, and then you can always add some salt later when you're seasoning. And then, of course, our Guinness stout. Um, so I'm going to add a whole bottle of this. This really kind of acts as, you can kind of think of it as more broth. Um, but the Guinness works really well when cooking with meats because there's something called a Maillard reaction. Um, it's a chemical reaction where sugars, the sugars from the beer, um, react with the proteins in our spoon roast. Um, and it gives a really, really great flavor. Um, so you can definitely sub in more broth if you wanted to and less uh, Guinness, or you could go the opposite way and sub in more Guinness and less broth. Um, either way, it tastes really great. So at this point, um, I'm going to cover this. And this would cook on high for about three hours. And then at that point, um, what I would do is take some water and then some cornstarch, and I would mix them together. Um, in kind of a slurry, and then add that to our mixture over here. Turn the heat down to low, and then let it cook for another hour or so. What this will do is help that uh, all those juices kind of thicken up a little bit into more of a gravy. Um, so if you don't want to, you certainly wouldn't have to do this step. Um, or you could also adjust it where you have, if maybe you want a little bit thinner uh, gravy, so you can do a little bit less cornstarch, or maybe if you want something really thick, you could do a little bit more. Um, but either way, it's uh, a really great step to take with this one. So once this is all cooked then, so that's about four hours total cooking time, um, this is what it looks like. It's so delicious, and I, it smells really great too. Um, so at this point, I would just garnish with some thyme, just some extra uh, fresh thyme sprigs here. And then you could serve this with, maybe if you didn't add potatoes like we didn't here, you could serve with some mashed potatoes. Um, or you could serve with like a really great crusty bread or something like that. Um, but a really great meal. And another thing too is I think a lot of times we think about using the slow cooker uh, only in kind of the colder months, which of course it's really great for that. But the slow cooker is also great in warmer months as well because um, it's a little bit better alternative to using your oven when you're heating up your house and things like that. So um, definitely give this a try any time of the year.
Beef up your spoon roast with Guinness in this tasty recipe. To get this recipe on your phone, text ROAST to 78402. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit bestfoods.com.